Okay, I put the rings on the pistons. This is my setup right here. <laughs> yeah, there's something to keep this thing from flopping around, you know. It was actually tighter than that until I put this last ring on and then sanded it a little bit. But make sure I got all my little scratches off and everything. Well, that's a pain in the ass. Because uh, you're scared. You think you're going to break them. And you can break them, trust me. You can. But they're done. I got them all done now. And uh, next is put the uh, rod bearings in. Uh, all the cylinder walls real good, all the piston heads real good. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some blaster on them. And then uh, put them in. So we're going one, two, three. So you got one, two. All right, this is four. I need to move that. That snuck in there somehow or another. Hold on. Move it over. Uh, there you go. And then three. Better move it over a little bit more. <laughs> There we go. All right, they're done. So I got one, two, three, and it's forward. So when I pull that off, it'll turn around and be forward of the engine. Make sure I put the red F forward when I'm putting it in there. And it'll all work out, because I've done mapped it out. And I still can't find a torque on this thing. Uh, that EOTech, that's different. And uh, 96, 99s, they're roughly about 77 pounds on the uh, uh, crank and 38 pounds on the rod bearings. So uh, I'm still looking. Uh, this is not very descriptive. It only gives you the, uh, damn, what's that ring called? <laughs> ah, shit. Oil separator or whatever. Uh, oh, it's all in Spanish. No wonder I can't read it. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. It's uh, the expander. It only gives you the example of the expander ring, you know, and then how to, you got to come over here for your bottom one, and then your, your top one will be right there. You know, why it's doing it twice, I ain't got a clue. And then those rings, I don't know if you can see this. There's no dot or anything on them, but if you look, they got a number on them. Right there, and we'll pull that one back. I'll push that one out, pull that one back. As you can see, so I put all the numbers up. I can't really see it, but it's there. I know it is, because I ain't got my glasses on. <laughs> but I've already, I wore my glasses the whole time I was doing that, that's for damn sure. So, uh, I'm going to start out with 70 pounds on the uh, crank and uh, just put the pistons in and get those at 38. <laughs> Train's coming. <laughs> and it's raining. It's pouring down out here. A big train will be coming through here in just a second. There's a little mowed yard. I'm belching. Looks good. Once you do a good job, we've got to get that out there, got to get around the pond, and then uh, all around the barn. Uh, so I wonder how much gas she used. Yesterday she used a whole tank, so that's about two gallons. Oh, she used a whole tank there too, damn. But I mean, it's Bahia, is what it is. So she's having to mow over it, and then turn around, come back, and mow it, and it's like got to mow over it three times, get it knocked down. Uh, she's been doing that while I've been playing with this motor, getting it ready. So y'all enjoy. Peace. Nanny nanny, shot spot and all that other good shit. There it is. There's the train. Can you see it? Uh, what's to catch him right there? Maybe. Yeah, there he goes. They're only supposed to run about 40 miles an hour down there. At the most. 25, 30, I can't remember. There you go. We're getting ready. Peace.